camera's rolling now. This is SJXAG. We are on the 101 freeway headed to Wendy Drive where there's a really kind of a uh, hot spot for bikers in the local area. But I'm going to do some something I call off trail. All right. All right, where's the trailhead again? Uh, I'll give you the title of the video. Get one thing. Damn it. We're back here. And we're gonna do some off trailing on this video. Now I forgot to hold the camera out at maximum distance yesterday. I also forgot the angle. I was holding it low the whole time. I was not thinking of the angle and just thinking of what I was talking about. So we're back here again as we were in the last video, only this time the focus, once we get up here, is going to be off trip. Now I said I was going to go up the mountain in the next video. Now we have a sunnier day today. Yesterday it was completely, <clears throat> yesterday it was completely uh, cloudy. Today, really nice clouds because we have some blue peeking through the cloud. Now it's a really amazing cloud actually today for California. We don't see these kind of clouds usually. A lot of times we just have blue skies or it's all gray. So to get these clouds where you have partial cloudy are really good for photos and outdoor photography. Especially at a subject. It's, it's what painters like to paint usually is clouds. Not always. I paint sunsets but clouds are good because they're random. The shapes are random, the highlights are random. One thing about holding the camera on like this is if you hold it out straight, right, it's a good angle, looks good for this camera. But it uh, says to everybody around you, you're shooting a video. So everyone looks at you. Why is he holding his arm out? What's he doing? Let's go. Oh. Now that I don't have a bag, I can get faster plus I'm used to it. So, go a little quicker. But yeah, when you're holding it out, people are like, what are you doing? If you hold it a lot here, they might not know. <laughs> the angle is bad. So camera stuck in your nose. All right. But you know what we're talking about could be different this time. So I gotta go back up the hill. I didn't bring a drink like yesterday. It was great having a drink because it spills. That sack I was carrying has a drink holder. And it's uh, good for that. So I'm gonna catch up on top of the hill this time. Because I don't want to really go over this again. I want to save my energy anyway. Let's just go this way. There's this comments. Today I'm just going to go that direction. I said I was going to go. Now, that looks pretty cool. That light. Just look at that. That ray of light. Is shooting right on that green. And said, Over here. Find the idol. Actually, the arc is right here. The narrative story arc. Beautiful. Now we're getting blasted. Good suntan or sunburn, whichever one you want. This is my day three out here. Day two on video. We didn't go up this way yesterday in the last video, so now we're hitting new trails, even though it's the, the trail. water thing up here. Something else back here. Let's check it. What is this? Oh, good fire. <laughs> Damn, dust came out of it. Cool. Let's see what else is up here. 
That's a barbed wire fence, not no. Oh, we got a windmill that fell down. And a rabbit. But I can see that taking the trails is a better way of hitting the mountain without having a straight uphill battle. It's like winding to avoid it. Here's where the grass, this is where the light is telling me. Look at all this green grass. stuff coming up stairs right there stairs right. I guess we're on the trail not off it yet maybe off on the way back Trail's interesting. Combination of stairs and broken trees and empty riverbeds. Random rocks. Nice clouds today. Peak at the end of it. Of course it's a long ways. Drop offs as we go up. <laughs> awesome views. This is stuff that looks cool on your TV. The textures. Artists always use that, by the way. They're 3D artists, map builders, texture makers. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and we go higher and higher. Here we go. Getting closer. Head's turning red like a turn up. <laughs> okay. Let's try fast. I think my old muscles are activating, maybe. Let's get it. Me. Both are good. This one's a little faster. I got a light load today. No too many bags, just. Okay, it says hidden, hidden valley. See, overlook. One mile our Boney Trail. Well, I was on Boney Trail yesterday and it's really good for off road. Let's see why. Right down here. We get the drop off. This is where we were looking at yesterday. Saying so what was up there? There's a trail that goes that way. Cuts up into the up to get to there. 
so you don't have to go straight up. That'd be kind of. You have to be ready for that. We're gonna just keep cutting up this trail. I believe it cuts over there, and then you start up there. I'm taking a second break from this view and get some nice wind. So let's go up this hill. Let's continue up. And see what we get. Well, it does lead somewhere. To another view. Okay. And there's almost no one on this trail, so. This trail is definitely lighter. But it's definitely treaded. Someone's got underwear there. <laughs> So we have a view coming up. Now somehow you get over there. But I can see how we would say it'd take four hours. Probably took an hour to get here, 40 minutes man. Well yeah. I see that one goes up there. There's some cool lighting over there. Flatlands over there. We were there yesterday. Another video here. Check that out. Where the fireman passed me. Right there. I think our Noah's down there. At least we got a better view. Check this out. The view gets better and better. More trails going up that way. Big trail going up that way. But nothing really going that way. Unless you get onto that trail. Alright, they said 10 minutes to go up this way. There's a better peak. So, how to get over there, we don't know. So, let's keep going. Hi. Or, or they'll just... Um... Great. Almost there, just up there. For this peak, I don't know if I see another one. Of course, it's not that peak, but it's something different than yesterday. We hike together, we win together, we do this together. We collaborate soon. We're already digitally. But soon, in the real time, getting ourselves prepared for good adventures, good fun. So, now one day I'll be able to jog up here. And there is another peak. This ain't it. <laughs> I guess we'll go try to make it to that one. And then we'll start something on the way down. We'll see if we can create some action. Oh, there's a stony edge. Well, looks like we're gonna have to go up there. It's the only way we're gonna see what those stones look like over there.
on the top of that hill. Look, a walking stick, see? Somebody left it for us. Let's pick it up. Okay. We're almost there. Ooh, what's interesting here? Look. Green again. Looks like a golf course at the top of the hill. Okay, okay. Here's an off-roader. Slight, slight, not much. Just a smaller treaded path. Let's see what's up here. Let's see what happens. This is where it gets fun. Okay, we're stopping. Down to another trail park. We're just here. Oh, there's a trail. It takes you down over there. Right there. I ain't going. And that trail is the one that goes up that mountain. So that's how you get there. Right down this way. Another day, okay? Now we know. This is where you take a break, see? And they have a place to sit. All right. Let's do the 360. Now, what I'm told is at that top, right there, you can see the ocean. In fact, you can see the ocean right there. You see it? Right there, we can see the ocean and an island on the other side of it. And up there, you can see Santa Barbara from what I understand. Over there is Camarillo. There's a lot of farmlands, and if you go down there, that's Point Magoo. There's a naval base right down there. And the ocean's right there. It's about... 30 minutes drive from this location. Not even that. 20 minutes. That's the ocean. If you ride a bike, you could walk there. We have a 10, 50 mile walk. You may be able to catch a bus. There is a bus that goes back and forth. All right, I'm gonna take a break. See you on the, net, on the net trail or off the trail. So, taking a nap here, thinking about if I brought a pitch tent or a throw blanket. There's a lot of rabbits around here, I think. Hey, what is that? See, they're a bit closer to me, not knowing I'm here. All right. Well, I was thinking about taking a nap here. All right, guys. This is SJXAG, and that's where I was sleeping. Well, I'm taking a break. I didn't really fall asleep because it's getting cooler already. The sun's going down. The sun, they'll be almost out soon. They'll be getting up soon. That's a great spot here. All right, we got everything, we got our stuff. And now, I'm all cooled down. Now we're headed down and we wanna make sure we don't go on the wrong trail. Seems like I'm on a different trail though right now. Let's just try it anyway. It's a trail. I think I didn't go to that ridge before. So, there's absolutely nobody out here, just us, finally, on a Sunday. There's a water tower down there. No coyotes. Rabbits, yes. 
Now going down is much easier, of course. However, your foot slides to the front of your shoe. Where are the AGs? Yeah. Yesterday there was a lot of people here. A lot of uh, hiking people. Some that look to be doing it on a regular basis. Let's continue downwards. I want to go off channel. Look at the hawk there. Oh man. Let's catch this. This is where a second camera would be good with a zoom. And you cut to that beautiful photography right there. Absolutely wonderful animal. Oh, there's a nest of them here. Look at them. They're right next to me. Hey guys, look, they're not as scared of me. The bird. I painted one. I get along with them. Oh, so beautiful. Hello? So beautiful. <laughs> Hi. Hello. What do you think they're looking for? What? What do you think they're looking for? <laughs> Something to eat. <laughs> Animals are usually doing that. These ones got really low. They were getting right here. <laughs> Those are the two things they're usually doing. Sometimes they goof off. It's not fun. Well, there's actually three things around in this area. Yeah. They might just be goofing off and having fun. Fishing around in the air, you know? Or they want to eat us, huh? <laughs> well, they're not going to eat us. <laughs> well, they went higher now. They're like, there's a clan of humans. I don't think it's a good time to attack that one human there. He fell down earlier. Who catch him? It could have been zombie bird. Now you're really getting pretty. Now they wanted to come to SGXCG and they wanted to land on my arm. I'm the bird commander. Now let's look over there. We know that, but you know what I'm saying. Keep that hidden. The eagle, AG, come on. Look at that. Cool stones to hike up to. All right, now we're going down and it's wobbly. That's probably why he has those two sticks. Your joints are, you get wobbly joints. Plus you're um, distributing the uphill effort to arms and shoulders, not just on legs. Beautiful. We have a split in the road here. Ooh, that kind of stuff stabs you right there. Not like a cactus well though. See, lighting, the light changes as the clouds move and we got some beautiful imagery right there. Unbelievable. You see in this, you got a lot of earth tones. You got the sand here, the nice green in the distance, the light peaking there, the distant with the ocean. I think I can see even a boat out there. It's just unbelievable. Beautiful. But each peak has a different angle. And you're like, well, this one's better. Then you have those over there. But these elevations have been measured. So you could probably do research if you hand which one's the highest. looks okay honestly all right this is SGXCG and we're about to go off trailing now you don't want to take
pair of homing pants. So you want to have jeans on. And you could end up with a rip back into your jeans. So. But it's kind of nice. As long as you don't run into taxi or a big drop off. Sometimes it's better to go down by your butt. Sometimes it's better to just walk. But <laughs> I like this jean. Here we go. Now we got a crevice here. So we're going to stay away from the complete crevice. And try to do it from here. Now that right there I don't like. That's pretty prickly. your feet sideways and try to work your way down to the crevice. It's still a workout. scratches. Ouch. All right. We won't take it straight down. We'll take it like this at an angle. But I really think that we should go that way. So this is what I mean about long sleeve shirts. I gotta tie my shoe. See pathway. Make sure there. We're gonna go that way. Stand by. I got that machine.
almost down. But as we get down, it's a lot of shrubs. You got trees. Hold on to but these trees. Not the best. See, we're almost there. There's a trail. To clear space. Like really clear. Somebody has to make those paths. But the water trench. Right there. Okay. The drain. So but this is where you need a mask. Oh yeah, we got it easy now. cooling down getting ready to go back out and uh, all right we're going back down and most likely today when we get on the trail I'll probably just gonna... but I don't know that was a uh, more exercise than I thought it was going to be.
other than brush scratching you. It's okay. So we have the hat on. And then when you go through this, grab the branches so they don't whack you in the head. Especially your hands. Watch what you're grabbing. Could, could snap. But the water goes down this way. But there's rocks. I think the trails are gonna. Not recommended. Do not do that and I try it at home. When I get up here, take off these gloves. There we go. Back on the path. Beautiful sun. Go back down and we need some. Now if you were to do it here where it's lower, it's a lot easier. And luckily there's no cactus in there. But I ain't doing it more right now. That'll be another video off trail and showing you a little bit of what I did over a long, much longer distance as a kid. So there was a reenactment of me going home a different route. And I got something in my shoe right now. Something brush went in there. Beautiful. Look at the sun. Didn't have that yesterday. What a difference, huh? It's a different video with a different perspective with different weather. So if someone goes and covers a place, you say, ah, they already went there. What season did they go in? You know, because it can look different in different seasons. In the full of winter or the full of summer, it's a totally different place, depending on where it is, usually. And we're headed back. And people are going to say, why is he dirty? What did he do? That's California. Whereas if you're in Michigan, everybody's got some, a lot of mechanics there where I came from, so I got grease on them. <laughs> Beautiful, huh? That was a great video, I think. A little action tossed in. Could throw in a lot of side stories. Could take out the audio and cut in another <laughs> Bigfoot or an AG. We got a movie. All right, beautiful. Look at this. I feel better. Certainly wasn't sunny down in there. Yesterday I went down this way, and that's pretty easy. Other than there's holes, you can just go watch. Now somebody had a horse in here. See the steps? All right, this is SJXAG, and that was today's sampling of SJXAG off trail, Scotty style. Youth, Scotty youth. It used to be that people actually ripped their jeans, you know? They didn't have to buy ripped ones. And now we're going down that steep hill from this angle. We're leaving this beautiful landscape for now. 
next time we might start. Let's see. We still have to cover that mountain. Maybe we'll come up the backside because the guy said it takes an hour. Hi. Hi. How's it going? How are you? Good. <laughs> All right, we're headed down the hill now, so. We did it. We have survived the off-trailing event. All right, this is SGXAG, and I'll see you in the next video. Signing off. Adios. Goodbye. I have an ending, by the way. An official one is coming soon. And I'll see you in the next video. Probably a part three of something, or part two of something, or a new video. I know I'm going to Hindi, Hindi Temple that's close to here. That's coming up. Alright, I'll see you guys soon.